All right, guys, so it's 1238. My babies are asleep, and I normally start with the shoe rack. So during drop-off, sometimes it gets hectic. Parents just take off the shoes and put them on the shoe rack. They don't organize them the way I personally like them organized. So I like to take the time out of the day to organize the shoes. Bags go on the top, and then I try to get all of the kids' shoes on the first row, and then like mine's and my son's on the third row. So... Felix never puts his shoes on the shoe rack. I feel like I bought it for nothing. So I'm going to go and put that away. And now I'm working on this car seat. So this child is actually going to be picked up right after nap time. So I'm just organizing her car seat, making sure everything is in there. Her two little shoes, her bow, and then her pacifier, I attach it to the seatbelt because that's how mom normally does it. So now I'm taking attendance and... I just go through everybody's sign-in sheet to make sure I have signatures for when they came in. And then if they're absent, I go ahead and I write that in. So I had, I believe, one child absent today. That's this one right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and write absent on his sheet um, for sign-in and sign-out because obviously I'm not going to need a signature for either one of those. So I did make these attendance sheets that I just started implementing this year, which I really do like. And I go ahead and I check all of the children in for attendance as well on these sheets. These are towards the back of the sign-in binder. I don't keep them with the child's actual sheet because these are for me and my record keeping only. So that's why they're like towards the back and the parents barely ever see them i mean i don't even know if they know that they're back there but i just go ahead and i take my attendance for my students So the next thing that I do is I make receipts. So I actually had a parent that paid me today for the next two weeks. So I'm gonna go ahead and make him his receipts. And I use these books from Sam's Clubs. It comes in a pack of three and I really do like them. I've been using them ever since I had my daycare and they're really efficient. The parents like them and it's easy to keep track of everything because as you guys can see, there's a white copy, which is for the parents. And then the yellow copy is the one that it transfers to. And that's the one that I keep in the book as well. So after I make the receipts, I just rip them out and then I put them in the sign-in binder, like their folder, their divider, better say. And when they come to sign the child out, they can go ahead and see that there's a receipt in the pocket in the front of their folder. So I like to also clean off the sign-in table. I just take everything off of the sign-in table and put it on the chairs because I like to clean under things and I don't like to set things on top of wet things. You get know what I'm saying? So I just take everything, I put it on the chairs and then I go ahead and I sanitize. So this solution is actually a essential oil solution. It's half vinegar, half water, and then a couple of drops of lemon essential oil and i believe i put a little bit of lavender and my son hates the way it smells he calls it the smelly spray i think it's because of the vinegar but i like it it sanitizes obviously it's clean and it's not harmful for the kids and i just like to use this on my table then i like to tidy up my living room lucas likes to take all of the remote controls out if you guys know who lucas is it's my son not a daycare child and he likes to take everything out of everything so i'm just putting the controllers away making sure that everything is tidied up and i go ahead and i move on to the kitchen so i have a lot of dishes so i'm gonna go ahead and take care of those i like to keep the kitchen super clean throughout the day because it helps when it comes to dinner time so everything is kind of like a domino effect everything that happened in the morning if you don't do it in the morning, it falls on during nap time. And then if you don't do it during nap time, then it's gonna fall on you for your evening routine. So I like to try and keep up with everything. So right now I'm gonna clean my entire kitchen and it's gonna be ready for my husband to cook dinner versus having a whole bunch of dishes and then it's gonna be in his way and then he has to do them and then it delays dinner. So it's kind of like a domino effect. So I like to make sure that the kitchen is 100% clean and ready for him to do dinner. So wiping down the counters, making sure that there are no dishes, making sure all of the pots are clean because sometimes we don't know what we're gonna cook for dinner and we don't know which pot he's going to need so i like to just make sure that the kitchen is 100 percent clean at all times then i'm taking out the trash because again he's going to need to be throwing things away as he's cooking whether it's scraps or packaging from whatever we cook and i like to have my trash can empty So as you guys can see, the kitchen is clean, the living room is clean, there is no toys anywhere for my personal children. Shoe rack looks organized and now I'm gonna take everything that I took off of the table and put it back on the table so that when the parents come, everything is accessible to them. On my table, I just keep my binders, a hand sanitizer, a candle, tissues, um, 
a little container with pens, some coasters, and some paper clips. And then I also keep my personal agenda and then my notebook on top of the table because if I ever need to take notes for anything, I have that up there. Now I'm gonna work on these crafts. We made fire trucks today with all of the children's feet. I think they look so cute and I'm just finishing them up because obviously the kids did what they could do, which is, um, Give me their foot so that I can paint it. And then I'm just gonna add all of the detail to the fire truck. That's basically the end of the video. I hope that this was helpful. Nap time sometimes is a little bit more occupied than others. I know that on Friday, I do like a really deep clean, not deep clean, but like I do like my cleaning weekly routine where I mop the house, I sweep the house, I sanitize the um, shoe rack and stuff like that. Like I go into a lot more detail and I like clean the bathrooms and all of that stuff. But today, since it's not Friday, it's Wednesday, I still have a few more days in the week. So I don't need to go like deep, deep, deep into cleaning the house. So that's just what I do and it helps me a lot. Like at the end of the night, all I really have to worry about is the kitchen after we eat dinner and things like that. And taking these steps during nap time really does help a lot. And it gets everything organized so that when the kids get picked up, you know what they have, what they came with. Because I organized like my shoe rack and stuff like that and all of that great stuff. So sorry if it's wobbly, I'm holding it with my hand and this camera is not light, it's heavy. Um, so that basically completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.